She never looks here. She never looks under my bra or panties. So you're playing hide and seek with your mom? She says if she finds any more, she's gonna send me to a mental hospital. It might help if your mom understood more about your behavior. If she had someone to talk to. She talks to everyone. That's how they found out. Well, I mean to professional. A shrink? Yeah. <laughs> she would never see a shrink. Why not? She doesn't need to. She already knows everything. Well, what about your dad? Does she talk much to him? Do you talk to him? Are you too close? Yeah, close enough, I guess. Does your dad show you a lot of affection? Dawn? Dawn, is there something about you and your dad you need to tell me? Does your dad ever touch you in a way that isn't appropriate? He doesn't touch me at all. Never? It's like he's afraid of me. Well, that must feel awful. Was he ever affectionate with you? Did he ever hug and kiss you? A little when I was a kid. So you must feel like you're growing up as a disaster. Here's where she's cutting herself now. You're her father. You need to do something. She's in her room. Feels like you are anyway when you do it to yourself. You're not the only one in pain. Your mother and I were. Stop doing this. Come on in. Hi, Mrs. Cottrell. Mr. Cottrell. I'm Jean Perella. Hi, Dawn. Why don't you... Take a seat wherever you want. Go on, just make yourself comfortable. I'll be right there. I made some tea if anybody would like any. Thank you. Just help yourself. I'm really glad you could both be here today. I know it might feel a little uncomfortable. I'm sure it does for Dawn. But I think it's going to go a long way toward helping your daughter. So, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourselves, your home life? 
Me? My family? My family? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it's fine. We live in a beautiful home. Russell has a good job. Both the children do really well in school. And this is really throwing us off. Is that the way you see things, Mr. Cottrell? Well, not like we don't have any problems. Russell? Uh, I mean, there are some tensions at home. Every couple has tensions. That doesn't make their children go running after knives. She's talking about real problems. Do you think there are any real problems at home, Mr. Cottrell? Well, I'm sure Dawn's behavior has created some pressures at home. It's got to be very frustrating for both of you. No, frustrating is when the disposal gets jammed. My daughter cutting herself every other night is... Uh, uh, terrifying. Yes, it is. So, uh, how do we get her to stop? Well, unfortunately, there is no one-step, immediate solution to this problem. For starters, I'd like to prescribe some medication. You want to put me on pills? Yes, but they're not going to make you tired or hyper or jittery. They're just going to get rid of some of that static that's been playing around in your head. But eventually it will get her to quit? No, not by themselves. I want to make this very clear. Cutting is a very complicated and serious problem. We have a lot of work to do. Dawn, I want you to start carrying this whenever you're out. I want you to call me once an hour and let me know where you are. Mom. Wherever it is, you sneak off to cut, you hit a vein, start bleeding, I want to know where you are. It's either that or stay at home. She did that to me. I told her to take that phone and shove it. How many friends do you have? What? Think about it a minute. How many friends have you got? I don't know. Frankie, Ken, guys at school, guys in the team. Lots. You have lots of friends. I have one. Maybe, if she's in a good mood. So? So I've got one friend. And mom and dad. And if they ever split up... They're mad at you. Not each other. I don't know what you're talking about. If it gets bad enough, I've got nobody. Well, the way it is now, with all the crap you take, you are nobody. So, cut the trail. What are you gonna do now that you don't have your half dyke bodyguard to look out for you? What are you talking about? Leslie Lorraine. Got tough with the wrong guy. Step between her old lady and her biker stud. Grace Ball beat her to a pulp. She's at St. Joe's. On the tubes. Are you gonna cut yourself over this? You're gonna slice yourself up? Can we watch? There she goes. Get the bandages. What's wrong? Why aren't you in school? My friend Lorraine's in the hospital. What friend Lorraine? She's in a coma. Her mother's boyfriend beat her up. Beat her up? What kind of friend is this? The only one I've got. Please, Mom, take me to the hospital. Seeing her is only going to upset you. Please, Mom. Mom! I don't think Dr. Prella would think this is a good idea. Mom! Mom! Take me to the hospital! 